presentation of the film Art Requires Democracy, produced by Art for Democracy campaign, which was due to take place in Parking Hotel on January 24th, was prevented by a blackout. The power supply to the second floor of the hotel where the presentation was held was stopped right at the beginning of the event. The event organizers requested permission to bring a power generator, to which the hotel administration response was negative. The coordinator of the campaign, head of the Human Rights Club, Rasul Jafarov, said he will sue the hotel administration. On January 28, Lawyer Khalid Bagher met with youth activist Omar Mamadov, who was detained on charge of illegal drug possession. According to the information given by the lawyer, Mamadov denies the accusations brought against him. The activist was arrested on January 24 by a group of plainclothes policemen. Investigation records state that 6 grams of heroin was founded on him, whereas Mamadov claims the drugs were planted on him. He was searched in absence of his lawyer. During the preliminary interrogation, he was even deprived of a court-appointed lawyer. Mamadov claims that he was subjected to physical pressure. Khalid Bagarov compared Mamadov's case with the case of blogger Abdullah Abilov, which was almost similar in scenario and indictment. Both views were admins of Facebook page containing criticism of state authorities. An appeal has been filed against Mamadov's detention. Issa Shahmarlo, 20-year-old chief of the independent LGBT organization, committed suicide on January 21st. The fact necessitated protection of the rights of people with non-traditional sexual orientation. The head of the alliance Atelier Javid Nabiev pointed out that there is hostile homophobia in Azerbaijan, which results in crimes. Being different from others is the ground for crimes motivated by hatred. Complaints to law enforcement agencies are often meaningless because the attitude towards sexual minorities is ironic. The LGBT people want to start a petition for protection of LGBT rights and to raise this issue in the parliament. Online petition is also considered. It is further planned to conduct awareness raising among youth of LGBT equality and establish a hotline. My son was beaten to death. I reject the findings of investigation and forensics, says Shirazi Aliyev, father of Orhan Aliyev, who died in one of the military units of Naftalan on December 10. According to the medical examination, soldier Aliyev died of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy while asleep. But the family doesn't believe this version and claims that he was killed. According to Shirazi Aliyev, two days before the departure, his son had a health check at the Central Hospital of Petroleum Workers. Father showed medical certificates attesting that his son was completely healthy. We request and demand your assistance in identifying and punishing the murderer of our son and those who withdrew his internal organs for sale, falsified the investigation and gave a false expert opinion. We call for exhumation of our son's body for re-examination. Parents of the soldier appeal to the President and Prosecutor General.